Welcome to the Players Lounge. I am joined by Sam Carrick, a.k.a. Kid Rickers. Nick, <laughs> nickname, well, well, we got Frank Vitrano, Frankie V. Yeah. Is that, yeah. I mean, can we roll with that? And Mac Mason, T. Ma- Mason McTavish, Mac T. Ogie. Sammy C. Is, uh, is that, yeah, that could work. Um, Rickers has been going around Rickers. a little bit lately. Okay. Um, yep. So that's probably... <laughs> We'll go with that. We'll go with Rickards. Okay. Uh, Eats, Emmer. I don't know. Jackson Lacombe calls me Eats. That's that's probably the, the, the one guy. That, so you can call me Emmer Eats. But uh, thanks for joining us. And uh, we're going to uh, get right to it here. So uh, Mason, uh, Mac T, Frank Vitrano All-Star. How proud of you are, you know, how, how proud how, how proud of Frankie are you? Like, Yeah. No, obviously he's had a, he's had a great season so far. Um, you know, it's pretty cool for him. Obviously he's kind of been... Um, obviously on a couple different teams, um, kind of finally getting that, you know, full top six role, I feel like this year and, um, you know, taking advantage of it fully. And, um, yeah, no, it's been, uh, it's been awesome to watch. And, uh, Sam, for you, I mean, do you feel like you should get credit for something down the line? I mean, was it warm ups? maybe some saucer passes to, to Frankie, or, I mean, do you feel like you should get some credit for, for that uh, all-star nod? Did you help him? I don't know if I'd get take any credit. No, um, just rinse me yeah. at the card table. <laughs> yeah, the card, well, Uh-oh. come on. Uh, but I, I mean, played against him even in the minors when I was in Toronto, and um, I think that's back when you're going like a goal a game, thirty games or whatever. And, yeah, you know. So obviously, we knew knew he was going to be a good player for sure. Uh, but yeah, like looking at. You know, even I've seen pictures of him as a kid. And uh, if you told me that guy was going to be an NHL All Star one day, I would not believe you. So uh yeah pretty impressive were you undrafted too undrafted undrafted yep. so yeah i mean a lot of a lot of uh hurdles to hop for him so yeah pretty pretty proud of him and for for the listeners listening to this i mean we're in close quarters right here this is like a two by three foot table here so uh hopefully it stays this close as far as uh you know how this conversation goes because this this next question is going to uh i don't know get a little sticky here so frankie out of these two sam and mason who would you want tag it along at All Star Weekend? Like, 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 if you were to pick one, if you were to pick one of these guys to tag along with you, why? I think I, I have to go Rickers. Been Rickers. on the block longer. Probably knows the city a lot better okay. than Mac T. He is my yeah. Mac T. How do you feel? How, how do you feel about that? How's that um, make you feel? That's all right. We spend a lot of time together. So yeah, we spend a lot of time together. I spend a lot of time mates, with Sam too. Mates, but so. uh, no, a guy that's uh, knows Toronto and. Probably knows all the good spots that where to go, but yeah, you know, you can't go wrong with both. But I think I'd have to go with Sammy. Okay, um, that that worked out well. That yeah. that, that was smooth. Okay. That was easy. You, you guys, yeah, took that one. Okay, so uh, Mac T, Rickers, and uh, what is his brothers? I mean, I, I was checking your your maple syrup water company, but as I'm reading the website, there was two other names. Were those your brothers there? Yeah, Jake and Josh are okay. my other two brothers. Yeah, there's four of us total. And and you're all in on this maple syrup water company. Well, I mean, it's it's the two Jake and Josh. It's their thing. Okay, um, Trevor and I. I mean, we're not really around to help. Okay. So we're preoccupied with our jobs. But um, yeah, they they kind of run it full time. It's maple syrup, um, per, like mostly, but um, they do do maple water as well. Okay, um, which is I guess you compare it to like coconut water, similar kind of thing. And toss a plug out. What what. What's it called? Where can we find it? Uh, just Carrick Bros Maple. Um, yeah, Instagram. We have a website too. I don't even know what the website is, but if you just Google Carrick Bros like Maple, owner. just Google it. Yeah, Google. You can't go wrong. And yeah, there's uh, they're on Instagram as well. Okay, and, and the waters are actually half off. So right when we're done with this, I'm gonna hop on the uh, the website and uh, what's the shipping? From is oh, it Canada? Shipping's, I, mean, is that? shipping's uh, I don't know. That's kind of out of our hands, but it, it is it, a little expensive. expensive. Okay. But uh, if anyone needs some water, I got lots here, and I do have a few bottles of syrup as well. But okay, I'm gonna um, right after this. I'm gonna all right. We'll auction them off. <laughs> uh, Mac T, what was your first purchase with your show though? Like, what what was the the first thing that you purchased when you got that first check? Um. I don't know. It was kind of weird for me because I played my nine games uh, my first year and then kind of got sent down. So I didn't like I obviously made a, a it was there for a couple paychecks. But um, I don't know. I guess the first thing I got. When no, I f- I'm talking like bonus R- rookie. You, oh. you, you're your entry level. Yeah, I don't even think I, sp- I didn't. I didn't really spend anything. I just kind of kept it. Um, probably the mo- like, I bought a car my my second or last year uh, at the start of the year. That's probably the. Do you believe thing. that? Do you do you do you believe? 
No. That he didn't buy anything? Like, did, are there any purchases that the boys know about that uh, happen right away? Uh, no? I mean, no. looking Damn. at the clothes he wears, I know he didn't go shopping. He's got um, nice ice on his neck now, though, so that's Oh, good. he does, too, yeah. yeah. Where'd Necklace? you pick that one up? Frankie V's guy. The block? I don't know. It's Frank's guy. Springfield Mass Jeweler. Fernard Jeweler, shout out. Sheesh, is that out in Mass? Yeah. And are you blinked up right now, too? I am. What, what, do, you, what, do, you, what do you got rocking? I got... Uh, I got my number as well, just like Mac T. And then I have a cross. Sheesh. And that's all all real. No, no. no okay. We, we get to get the diamond checker out. Okay. Well, <laughs> I, I know. That's why next time I, I might have to bring that. Okay. Okay. Uh, Frankie, if you were getting your, your real estate, uh, you know, uh, mantra right now, East Longmeadow, Massachusetts? Longmeadow now. But Long I grew Meadow. up in East okay. Springfield. Yeah. Okay. Long Meadow, Massachusetts. If you're a realtor trying to sell me a house, like what what, what good things you could say <laughs> about I, I got East or Long Meadow, Massachusetts? Like if you were to try to convince me to to move there, what are, what are some good things you could say about it? Yeah, show them oh, the tat. Oh, I got the tattoo of the Springfield skyline on my uh, what is this? My, on my thigh. Okay, so, okay. You know, what? All the boys. buildings one, yeah, three like and four, four or five. They're... Not a very big city. Or, but okay. I had to, had to show some uh, loyalty. Are those your city. meetup locations? The building one? <laughs> yeah, we got the TD one, building three, here. We got the Symphony Hall. I think we got the TD whatever. Oh, that's the area code. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. What is I it? Four, four, one, three. Four, one, three. No. Okay. Uh, if you ask any guys that have played in the minors, uh, I know Rickers has been to Springfield before. Uh, yeah. uh, a lot of guys have been through there, but, you know, it's kind of in and out and they don't want to stay there much longer. But I grew up there my whole life. I think the you know the biggest thing for me going back there is just a, it's a great place to raise a family, uh, kids, great school systems, uh, kind of all the adult talk. Now it's a good, good place to raise a family. And that's that's why I go back there. OK, um, Sam, for you. Who's the shit? And once again, th- a couple of these questions could get sticky. Who's the shadier character out of Mac T and Frankie V? Like, who, who's the shadier? Who is like, hey, like, I want to grab dinner and he goes to you. Like, who? Like, th- that kind of stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I got to go with Mac T. Uh, <laughs> How? <laughs> Well, Frank, Frank Frank usually books all my. I'm the, res- the road, I'm the reservation so. guy. Yeah, so you're the re- okay. He's the reservation guy on the road. Pretty good. So, uh, Mac T. I mean. Yeah, I, I don't know. I wouldn't call him shady, uh, but you, you kind of never know what he's up to. Um, <laughs> great guy to be around when you are around him. But oh, thanks. Um, yeah, no, he's. Uh, I mean, he's he's good. It, uh, we don't really have any shady characters around here, which is a good thing. Okay, everyone's good along. I like it. Going back to the being a small business owner, we talked about uh, Sam and what he's got going on with his brothers there. I mean, if you were to open up a just do a little side gig, side hustle, Frankie V, like what? What would he start as, as far as a business? Do you have any business a- aspirations? So my my family are small business owners. They've owned a, a restaurant for the past you know, thirty plus years. Give so him a shout out, Antonio's Grinders and Pizza in Springfield, Mass. What's the special? I'm I'm sure they have special teas, but what what's the talk of the town? Like why do why do people? Is there one thing that just I think people just the go, talk of the town. Yeah, it's it's the business itself has been has probably been fifty plus years. My dad's location has been there for a while. Then he took it over. I think when he was probably like 20, 25 years old, took it over from his uh, dad. And my grandfather's brother is the one that started all the businesses and we have, they eventually took him over. But, uh, you know, just it's been in the neighborhood for so long and people just know it's a good spot to get good pizza and, and good sub. So um, for me, I'd probably stay out of the restaurant business. I'd probably just stay with what I know. Open it's up, such a grind. Open up uh, a hockey training facility or something like that. It's such a grind. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I have buddies who own a bakery and I just, there's one light on if I'm, it's, and we live close to it, but we're the, down the main drag. She's always there putting yeah, in you stuff have in the to. oven. It's, if it's you're, ridiculous. Uh, if you're the owner, you have to make sure you're there and there's a lot of stuff you have to take care of, make sure the business is running properly. So, you know, I give, I give him a lot of credit uh, to keep doing what he's doing. Mac T, day trader. What, what 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 do you do? What do you do on the side? Like what what? Any any small business aspirations post career? Even like I don't know. Are you um, are you a salesman? Not really. Maybe I don't know. If I had to like do something, maybe um, like if I wasn't a hockey player, maybe like a like build build a gym or own a gym or something like that. I don't know. Um, yeah, Come no work real reason. I don't know. <laughs> Come work at the one I want to open up. You're opening one. I want to. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, let's talk about some some hockey stuff right now. Mac T, we'll we'll continue with you. You have that uh, the the warm ups almost talent show out there. Two three <laughs> minutes left to go uh, in warm ups before the game puck drop. I mean, what 
What's the craziest move you've done? I mean, what? It's you, Leo. Who else is out there? Z's normally out there. Yeah, Z, that's uh, right. When he's there. Um, Zelly, Zelly's out there now, too. Another addition. And then Bo. I saw Yeah, Bo's out there sometimes, in too. There. Yeah. Um, and for our yeah. listeners out there, what, last two, three minutes, right, of warm-ups, uh, Mac T and, and some of the other Ducks players are, are razzling and dazzling on the, on the breakaways. What's the craziest thing you, you, you've pulled in, in one of those things? Um, I don't know. Maybe just a couple one-handers on, on Dostal. Uh, Gibby doesn't stay in there, so... Um, Whenever, whenever Dusty's not playing, he'll he'll jump in there, take some shots. So um, it's nice, but um, yeah, I've been just trying to mix it up and have some fun. And then, what about you guys? Any superstitions? Any as far as get dressed, gear left to right, anything like that, or no? That's you're you're not that. Uh, Honestly, yeah, I do a different warm up every day. Basically, it's like I, I don't have any of that. I mean, I kind of take a, an assessment of how i'm feeling that day and if i feel like i need to do a little more of a warm-up then I'll, I'll do it but if i'm feeling pretty good then uh you know sometimes it's just uh, a nice hot shower and uh get ready to go what about you uh everything has to go on my left side first and then just stick can't touch the ground that's pretty much it stick can't touch the ground yeah the blade when when you're when you're carrying it out to the ice after or? i tape it yeah i mean that just going out for warm-ups like i yeah, don't want the, same way too. the blade touch the yeah. ground holy smokes that's that's something but I'm not there. one of those psychos that if it touches the ground, like I'm retaping the stick. It's just like it is what it is. Well, that's boy, you're tip, you're tiptoeing the line there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, um, so Frankie B, you're the lone college guy in this uh, in this conversation. Why why do you think college hockey is better than the CHL? <sighs> Let's hear it. No, the friends off. I think just the college life itself, aside from hockey, I think the hockey's great. I think the hockey in the CHL gets you. More prepared for this level. Um, college, you're only a few teams, not very great. You only play like 34 games. But uh, I think just the overall thing of living on campus with, you know, all your teammates and getting to know the students and the parties and going to the bars and, you know, just meeting like all the other athletes and all the non-athletes. It's just awesome. Like you create friendships that way, even if they're the guys that aren't on the hockey team. So just the overall experience of everything. Like I had a blast. We talked to any guy. I know you talked to guys that went to college and play with guys went to college. It's just, uh, it's a blast. It's such a good time. And, and you went to... UMass Amherst. UMass Amherst. Okay, Sam, Mac T. Um, why this CHL, Canadian Hockey League, over college? Well, I, I'll go. Um, <laughs> he kind of touched on it. It does prepare you a little bit better for a pro for that pro lifestyle. You think e- even with the two games in the the weekend? Yeah, I mean you're you're playing a 68 game schedule and it's uh, travel too. Yeah, it's, it's that many games. Yeah. 68 what yeah. with tournaments? No, for for, for CHL. CHL. Oh, oh you're talking no. about CHL. College okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. 34, 36 games. Yeah. So you so you're saying this is bonus? Okay, yeah. no, no, that's that's what I. Yeah, yeah. but honestly, okay. I mean, I kind of wish I went to college too. So why I mean, is that? I don't know. It just you know it's just for the experience. Um, you know, it, it's I, I'm grateful for what I had in, in uh, the OHL for sure. Um, I met made a lot of you know really good friends, lifelong friends that I still keep in touch with, and um, I think you get the same thing in college for sure. Um, you're just it's just nice to be a little bit older when you do turn pro, and um, especially for the American Hockey League because you you know they have that veteran rule that comes in, and uh, you know you got 24 year old guys that are rookies that are coming in and. You know, it's just I, I think for myself, uh, I was a little bit of a late bloomer. So I, I think it probably might have helped me to kind of hold back a little bit and um, develop my game in college. But, um, yeah, I mean, it would have been a good time as well. So, um, yeah, I, I think, you know, for myself, it's it's hard to look back and say I made the wrong decision. But, um, you know, here we are. And that's what threw me off because the 68 games, I'm a Western Lager. So we have the 72. So that's what I was. OK, hmm. interesting. What about you, Mac T? What, why? Why would you say Canadian Hockey League? I had a black. I mean, I think, you know, yeah. as far as the, the parties and hey, we're there for all the listeners out there. Yeah. Uh, Alberta. I was a Western League guy over 18. Yeah. So uh, but, you know what? Yeah, no, I mean, I, I definitely had a lot of fun when I played junior. Um, you know, I started in Peterborough when I was just 16. Um, obviously, it's it's a lot different. You know, you're so much younger. Um, you know, playing in a junior league is, is tough, but it kind of, you know, gets you ready to play against older guys. I mean, same as college. I guess it's a four-year gap uh, for the most part. Yeah. But, um, no, I mean, I think there's no real wrong option, honestly. I think they're both great. I mean, anywhere you go in hockey, you're going to have fun. So, um, and, you know, you're competing with the best players in, in the country. So, um, yeah, I don't really think there's a wrong choice, and I was I was happy with the, the choice I made. Nice. 
Uh, Frankie, be back to you. You're yatted pretty good, and we touched on it a little bit uh, a little bit earlier with uh, with your hometown and the tribute there on your your leg. W- what's next for you? What, what, what are you thinking? Are you, are you going hands? And I already see the uh, I got my the, daughter's the back. name there. Okay. Uh, are you going full blown? I want to do my legs next. I got a few small ones that I added this summer. Like uh, you're going, you're going both full leg sleeves. I want to do my calf next. A big piece on my calf. Then I want to get my chest, but my wife probably wouldn't be too happy. So I'll probably just come home with that one one day. Sam, what about you? I got nothing right now, man. Um, no, don't yeah, put don't uh, bumper stickers on a Bentley. Is that your, <laughs> is, is that your mentality? <laughs> exactly. Exactly. I, I mean, I don't know. I'm, I'm open to it for sure, but I just got to figure out. I, I, I'm so undecisive of that kind of stuff. Like I got to figure out what to get first and then one of those guys. That. Yeah. Okay. Patience. Hey, you know, I'm sure if a lot of people had that mentality, they would uh, probably be thankful for it a little bit yeah. later on. Uh, Mac T, I got tattoos. A, like I, I, I'm, I'm open for it. Um, I just don't. I'm kind of like Sammy. I don't know what I would get, um, but I don't. I don't have any right now. But um, yeah, I'd say I'm open for it. Just kind of undecided. I'm not really sure what I would get yet. Um, just a, a few more things. All star break coming back at you with that one um what, what are you most looking forward to just watching and, and i'll include all three of you in this one like what do you are skills competition seeing frankie feet da- just dazzle all over the ice uh, you know mac t like what, what are you most looking forward to yeah i want to see frankie just shoot some pucks in the in the in the game are you is there no so what's going a, on they're there? doing it differently did you hear the format they're doing this year no. so there's only 12 guys doing the skills competition i knew that part so i'm just basically there for the game yes <laughs> it's great. yes because those guys are already it's perfect no they're not there yet are they no uh i think guys get there on uh wednesday wednesday thursday do all the guys get there at the same time yeah around the same time yeah okay so Thursday, they have the draft on Thursday night, the fantasy draft. Um, then Friday is the skills competition. The only 12 guys are doing it. And then Saturday is the game. And what are you most looking forward to? Just Yeah, I'm just looking forward, honestly, just have a good week out with my yeah. family and friends. Um, my whole entire family, brothers and sister-in-laws and uh, nieces and nephews are going. And, uh, my buddy's uh, driving seven hours and got an Airbnb in, uh, in the city. So it's, nice. uh, it's going to be a good weekend. Nice. Okay. I'll end with this one. Frankie V's got some great style. So does Mac T on the ice. I think both these guys have some great style for, for different reasons. Once again, this could get a little bit sticky. Friends off. Who are you picking, Sam, for better style between these two? On ice style. And why? Man, that's tough. Um, I'll say Mac T's got yeah. the better style. Why? Um, I think, honestly, I think the curly hair helps I, I can't wait to see what he looks like when he's Perfect. 30 33 years old and um with the curly hair and going no bucket and warm-ups it's gonna be, un- gonna be unreal great. yeah so i think he's got a lot of potential there and, um yeah he's um yeah we'll <laughs> we'll see i mean not not that frankie has bad style yeah I mean, you know it's just just regular too. style nothing crazy yeah, yeah. frankie I, I i really appreciate the tj the tape job on it the, the full sock looks yeah. so money so that's something I I, I, I got love you. The full I got sock. you. I got you. I'm trying Mac to get Mac you got great. You got great style as well. Thank so, you. boys, well, appreciate the time. Thanks for coming on the Players Lounge for Sam Carrick, Frank Vitrano, and Mason McTavish. I'm Emerson Edom, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks for having us. Thank you. Thanks, Sam.